Hope you're all doing great and fine. Today, you're going to have a fun and exciting lesson in Mathematics 4. I am Teacher Fatima, your learning buddy for today's lesson. Here are our learning objectives for today's lesson. First, visualize the perimeter of any given plane figure in different situations. Second, find the perimeter of triangles, squares, rectangles, parallelograms, and trapezoids. So ready your module, your answer sheet, and your pen. Are you ready kids? Great! But before we proceed to our new lesson for today, let us have first a short recap regarding with your previous lesson. You only have 5 seconds to identify the figure being described on each number. I am a polygon with 4 equal sides and 4 right angles. What am I? What is the answer, kids? Square! Very good! I have three sides and three angles. What am I? What is the answer, kids? Great! Triangle! I have two long parallel sides, two short parallel sides, and four right angles. What shape am I? And the answer is... Excellent! Rectangle! I am a quadrilateral with two pairs of opposite sides parallel, but I have no right angles. What shape am I? The answer is... Very good! Parallelogram! I am a flat closed shape with four straight sides and with one pair of parallel sides. What am I? The answer is... Excellent! Trapezoid! Now I can confidently say that you are ready to learn our new lesson for today. My dear learners, this lesson is very simple yet very vital to our succeeding lessons. So brace yourselves and let us have fun in learning our new lesson for today about perimeter. To get started, let us first sing a song entitled The Perimeter Song to the tune of Farmer in the Dell. of any given figure to get their perimeter. Let's have this figure A. 
figure A is a square. And we all know that square have four equal sides. If one side of the square measures 6 centimeters, what is the perimeter of the square? If your answer is 24 centimeters, you're correct. But how did we get 24 centimeters? Very good! We just simply need to add all the sides of the square to get its perimeter. So the one side of the square is already given. It means to say all the other sides measure also 6 centimeters. So 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 is equal to 24 centimeters. Or we can simply use the formula in getting the perimeter of the square, which is P stands for perimeter is equal to 4 multiplied by S, where S stands for side. And 4 stands for the number of sides. So if we substitute 6 centimeters to the side, it will be P is equal to 4 times 6. And 4 times 6 is equal to 24 centimeters. So the perimeter of the square is 24 centimeters. Did you get it, class? Very good! Let's have another example. What figure is shown in the illustration? Very good! It's rectangle. And rectangle have two pairs of parallel sides. One pair of long parallel sides and one pair of short parallel sides. If the long parallel sides measure 7 centimeters and the short pair of parallel sides measure 3 centimeters, what is the perimeter of the rectangle? In getting the perimeter of the rectangle, we need to add all the sides of it. So 7 plus 3 plus 7 plus 3, we have 20 centimeters. Or, we can use the formula in getting the perimeter of the rectangle, which is P stands for perimeter is equal to 2L, where in L stands for the length, plus 2W, where W stands for width. If we are going to substitute the given in our formula, it will become P is equal to 2 times 7 plus 2 times 3 equals 2 times 7 is equal to 14 plus 3 times 2 is equal to 6. So 14 plus 6, we have 20 centimeters. Did you get it, class? Very good. Let's have the third example. If I am going to build a small house with a triangular roof measuring 10 centimeters on each side, what is the perimeter of the roof of my small house? If each side of my triangular roof measures 10 centimeters, then the perimeter of the roof of my small house would be 30 centimeters, where 10 plus 10 plus 10 is equal to 30 centimeters. Or, we can simply use the formula in getting the perimeter of the triangle. P is equal to A plus B plus C. 
where P stands for perimeter, A stands for the first side, B stands for the second side, and C stands for the third side. If we are going to substitute the measurement of the side, it will become P is equal to 10 centimeters plus 10 centimeters plus 10 centimeters and the perimeter would be 30 centimeters. Let's have the fourth example. My trapezoidal garden looks like this. If the side 1 measures 9 meters, side 2 measures 10 meters, side 3 measures 12 meters, and side 4 measures 8 meters, then what is the perimeter of my garden? Excellent! It's 39 meters! And how did we get 39 meters? Very good! We simply add all the sides of my garden. Or we can use the formula of the trapezoid in getting the perimeter. Where P is equal to A plus B plus C plus D. Where P stands for perimeter. A stands for the first side. B stands for the second side. C stands for the third stands for the fourth side. So if we are going to substitute the given with our formula, it will become P is equal to 9 meters plus 10 meters plus 12 meters plus 8 meters. The answer would be 39 meters. I know you are enjoying our discussion class. example before we proceed to your activity one for this lesson so the base of the parallelogram is 14 centimeters and its height is 7 centimeters what is the perimeter of the given figure remember we need to add all the sides of the given figure to get its perimeter so P is equal to 14 plus 7 plus 14 plus 7 the perimeter of the parallelogram will be very good 42 centimeters or we can simply use the formula of the parallelogram in getting its perimeter actually we have two options. The first formula would be P is equal to 2 times B stands for base plus H stands for height. The second option would be P is equal to 2 times B plus 2 times height. So if we are going to substitute our given in the first formula, it will be P is equal to 2 times 14 plus 7. First, we need to add the number inside the parentheses. So 2 times 21. 21 is the sum of 14 and 7. So 2 multiplied by 21, we have... Great! 42 centimeters. Now let's have the second formula. P is equal to 2 times base plus 2 times height. Now let's substitute our given. 2 times 14 plus 2 times 7. First, let's 
multiply our given. So 2 times 14 is equal to 28. And 2 times 7 is equal to 14. Now let's add our given. 28 plus 14 is equal to 42 centimeters. Did you get it, class? Yay! Excellent! Either of the two will do. If you are going to use the first option or the second option, you will only get the same answer. So it's up to your choice. Did you understand, class? Great! Yay! Now that you know how to get the perimeter of the given figure, I can confidently say that you are ready with your first activity. So I want you to ready your answer sheet and your pen. Because you only have one minute to answer the following. Here is our direction for your activity one. Visualize the perimeter of the following plane figures. Write your answer in your answer sheet. Use 
the different formula for each figure. Now, what is the formula of the square in getting its perimeter? Very good! P is equal to 4 times S, where P stands for the perimeter. 4 stands for the 4 sides, and S stands for the side. How about the rectangle? Correct! P is equal to 2 times L plus 2 times W, where P stands for perimeter, L stands for the length, and W stands for the width. How about the triangle? Great! P is equal to A plus B plus C, where P stands for the perimeter. A stands for the first side, B stands for the second side, and C stands for the third side. for the base. And for the last one, the trapezoid. P is equal to A plus B plus C plus D, where P stands for the perimeter. A stands for the first side. B stands for the second side. C stands for the third side. And D stands for the fourth side. Great job, kids! Now, to test what you have learned with our lesson for today, I prepared a short quiz. Now I want you to ready your answer sheet and your pencil. You only have one minute to answer the following. Good luck, kids! Using the formula of each figure, find the perimeter of the following.
today. Hope you enjoy the activities that you answered. That's all for today, kids. See you on the next video lesson.